welcome the scrutiny of any good deed. Why shouldn't we? Good morning, everyone. Uh, now at five, Miami-Dade School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho responding to an investigation into a donation made to the school district's nonprofit foundation. The K-12 online learning company gave nearly $1.6 million to the foundation for new education initiatives. That foundation was founded and is chaired by Superintendent Carvalho. CBS4's Joan Murray is live in Northeast Miami-Dade with his reaction. Joan. Well, in just a few days early next week, the Miami-Dade School Board is going to meet to decide when in-class learning will resume. But a cloud is hanging over the district with this investigation. The superintendent said today he did nothing wrong. Miami-Dade School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho passing out backpacks Friday at Holmes Elementary, a public school with a comeback story, as he fights back criticism for accepting a donation to his foundation from K-12, the company that provided the failed online learning platform. This great school system of ours is rated an A. That is why, at a personal level, certainly I must say that some of the recent headlines are hurtful. The district's inspector general has launched an investigation into the $1.6 million donation that was made ahead of the school board's vote to ditch the troubled platform. I know that as she reviews the process that led to a gift to our teachers in recognition of the hard work they did during difficult times, I know uh, she and her organization will reach the right conclusions. K-12 told us the money was a thank you, a $100 donation for every teacher whose virtual classrooms were ready by Sunday night. They're going to interview everybody who was involved. It doesn't have to be an email or a text message. David Weinstein is a criminal defense attorney who worked as a state and federal prosecutor. He said the inspector general will look at everything from an ethical violation to a crime. And for him to receive a benefit and for them to get the contract, it could result in criminal charges. That's a pretty high burden that the inspector general would have to find and then turn it over to the state attorney's office for prosecution in criminal court. At the other end, it may be a reprimand, either public or private, some sort of a fine and an admonition that you didn't do anything wrong under any of these statutes, but you need to be aware that you created this appearance of impropriety. The probe is a distraction for Carvalho as he plows forward to reopen schools for in-class learning. We welcome the scrutiny of any good deed. Why shouldn't we? So this is going to be a long investigation, and Carvalho is focused right now on getting these schools reopened. The target date now is early October. Reporting live in Northeast Miami-Dade, Joan Murray, CBS4 News.